Hello friends, today we are going to discuss atropisomerism. It is a very important topic of stereochemistry. In this lecture, we are going to discuss the following points. What is atropisomerism? Criteria for atropisomerism Configuration of atropisomers under this head, we will be discussing two types of nomenclatures, RS nomenclature and PM nomenclature. Racemization of chiral biphenyls. Under this head, we will be discussing effect of ortho, meta and para substituents on the rate of racemization. And the last point is examples of atropisomers other than biphenyls. Now come to the first point. What is atropisomerism? This type of isomerism was first discovered in biaryl systems. For our conceptual discussion, we are going to take the simplest biaryl system, which is biphenyl system. This is the conformation in which the two phenyl rings are coplanar. The bond connecting two phenyl rings is called pivotal bond. In this conformation, there is a strong hysteric repulsion between orthohydrogens of the two rings. So, this is an unstable conformation. To avoid this hysteric repulsion, one of the two rings rotates about the pivotal bond and becomes non coplanar to give this conformation, which is stable. In unsubstituted biphenyl, phenyl ring can freely rotate about the pivotal bond. In the case of unsubstituted biphenyl, the equilibrium torsion angle, which is the angle between the planes of the two phenyl rings, is 44.4 degrees and the torsion barriers are quite small. 6 kilojoule per mole at 0 degree centigrade and 6.5 kilojoule per mole at 90 degrees. The magnitude of torsion angle varies depending upon the nature of ortho substituent. In substituted biphenyls, it can be up to 90 degrees. Suppose we have a biphenyl system X with a different ortho substituent on each ring like this, where A is not equal to B and C is not equal to D, but a can be equal to C or B can be equal to D. The mirror, the mirror image of this molecule can be drawn like this. Since X and X prime are non-superimposable mirror images of each other, so this type of biphenyl systems are chiral molecules without any chiral center. So X and X prime are enantiomers. X can be converted into X prime if we rotate one of the two rings, let's say upper ring through 180 degrees about the pivotal bond. This axis passing through the pivotal bond is called chiral axis. So, the chirality of biphenyl systems is due to chiral axis and not due to the chiral center. 
as we have seen that the two enantiomers x and x prime are interconvertible by just rotation of one of the two rings about the pivotal bond x and x prime can be resolved and will show optical rotation if anyhow we can restrict the rotation about the pivotal bond we can restrict this rotation by increasing bulk of the ortho substituents these stereo isomers which exist as a separate chemical species because of restricted rotation about a single bond are called heteropisomers and this phenomenon is called heteropisomerism second point criteria for heteropisomerism there are two criteria for a biaryl system for showing heteropisomerism the first is neither ring must have vertical plane of symmetry for example if we have a biaryl system like compound 1 and 2 in compound 1 both the rings have vertical plane of symmetry while in compound 2 only upper ring has vertical plane of symmetry so both compound 1 and 2 will not show atropisomerism if we see compound 3 4 5 and 6 none of the two rings have vertical plane of symmetry so these four qualify the first criteria for showing atropisomerism the second criteria is the substituent in the ortho positions must be sufficiently large so that the rotation about the pivotal bond could be restricted here are some some examples of atropisomers that fit into the criteria we discussed so far there are some exceptions even biaryl compounds with four constitutionally identical substituents may be chiral if these are connected pairwise through two bridges as in d2 symmetric molecules configuration of atropisomers in this we will first discuss rs nomenclature like enantiomers with the chiral center atropisomers have r and s descriptors since these are optically active due to chiral axis so r and s are written as ra and sa respectively these are the steps for the determination of r and s configuration of atropisomers view the molecule from the end along the chiral axis label groups present at ortho positions as 1 2 3 and 4 based on priority while assigning priority one should remember that groups on the proximal aryl ring are labeled as 1 and 2 while those on distal aryl ring as 3 and 4 make a newman projection formula draw an arrow from 1 to 2 to 3 clockwise path of arrow represents ra while anti clockwise path represents sa configuration now let's take the example of one of the enantiomers of 66 prime dinitro 2 2 prime diphenic acid for our exercise 
we will go step by step step first view the molecule from the end along the chiral axis if we view the molecule from the top end like this this is proximal ring and this is distal ring step second labeling of ortho substituents nitro group with the higher priority on the proximal ring will be labeled as 1 while carboxylic group with the lower priority will be labeled as 2 nitro group with the higher priority on the distal ring will be labeled as 3 while carboxylic group with the lower priority will be labeled as 4 step third make a Newman projection formula for this make a circle draw a horizontal line above the circle and a vertical line below the circle put the four groups on these lines on the horizontal line one is on right and two is on left on vertical line three is on the lower while four is on upper end finally draw an arrow from one to two to three since the direction of arrow is anti-clockwise so the configuration will be sa you can also view the molecule from the bottom end for the determination of RS configuration that will give the same result if we view the molecule from the bottom end bottom ring will be the proximal while top ring will be distal so in this case the nitro group on the bottom ring will be one while carboxylic acid will be 2 nitro group on the top ring will be 3 and carboxylic acid will be 4 to make Newman projection formula make a circle draw a vertical line above the circle passing through the middle and draw a horizontal line below the circle passing through the middle put the groups on their respective positions as 1 2 3 and 4 draw an arrow from 1 to 2 to 3 since the direction of arrow is anti-clockwise so the configuration will be as a let's take another example for the determination of absolute configuration in this example all the ortho substituents are different you need to follow the same previously discussed steps you can view the molecule from any end along the chiral axis suppose we view the molecule from the bottom end then this ring will be proximal and this will be distal methoxy group will be 1 and H will be 2 nitro group will be 3 and carboxylic group will be 4 the Newman projection will be like this draw an arrow from 1 to 2 to 3 since the direction of arrow is clockwise so the configuration will be RA similarly we can find the configuration other biaryl systems like binaphthol if you view this molecule from the bottom end this will be proximal ring and this will be distal ring in proximal ring 
OH will be 1 and the ring residue will be 2. In the distal ring, OH will be 3 and the ring residue will be 4. Its Newman projection will be like this. The direction of arrow from 1 to 2 to 3 will be clockwise. So the configuration will be RA. PM nomenclature. This is another way of presenting configuration of atropisomers. All the steps for the determination of P and M configuration are the same as RS configuration except the last step. In this case, an arrow is drawn from 1 to 3 and not 1 to 2 to 3. Clockwise path of arrow represents P meaning plus while anti-clockwise path represents M, meaning minus. Let's have previously discussed example with its Newman projection. Draw an arrow from 1 to 3. Since direction of arrow is anti-clockwise, so configuration will be M. Resumization of chiral biphenyls. Optical activity of chiral biphenyls arises from the restricted rotation about the pivotal bond. It might be expected that resumization of these compounds would not be possible. In reality, it has been found that optically active biphenyl compounds are resumized under certain set of conditions, for example, under heating condition. The general explanation for this resumization is that heating increases the amplitude of vibration for ortho groups and also the amplitude of vibration of pivotal bond, thereby permitting the ortho groups to slip by one another. This transformation involves a, pre a periplanar transition state in which both the rings are coplanar. This transition state has equal probability for the formation of two enantiomers and therefore we get racemic mixture. Let's take the example of 2 2 prime disubstituted biphenyl. This is S enantiomer anti-clockwise rotation of right ring about this pivotal bond through an angle equal to the dihedral angle will lead to the formation of this periplanar transition state TS in which both the rings are coplanar. The energy of this transition state is higher because of aesthetic repulsion between ortho groups. Further anti-clockwise rotation of this right ring will lead to the formation of R enantiomer. There is one more possible transition state TS prime which can be formed by the clockwise rotation of right ring. TS prime is less stable than TS because of greater hysteric hindrance. So racemization will occur via TS. The energy profile diagram of this trans, uh, this racemization can be represented as here delta G which is difference between the energy free energy of TS and free energy of enantiomer is called Gibbs free energy of activation or racemization barrier. Higher the value of racemization barrier, lower will be the rate of racemization and hence higher will be the conformational stability. 
The resumization barrier of unbridged biphenyls is mainly determined by the number and size of ortho substituents. With the increasing number and size of ortho substituents, resumization barrier increases and therefore conformational stability increases. The apparent size of common substituents follows this order. Based on the nature of ortho substituents, there are three types of chiral biphenyls. First, non resolvable. These molecules contain only hydrogen, fluorine, or methoxy groups at ortho position. Compound with only carboxyl group and hydrogen are also non resolvable. For example, compound A, B and C. Second, resolvable but easily resumized. These must contain at least two amino groups, two carboxyl groups or one amino and one carboxyl group. The remaining two groups may be fluorine or methoxy. Compound with only SO3H and hydrogen also fall in this category. The example of this category are compound D and E. Third, not resolvable at all. These compounds contain at least two nitro groups. The remaining two may be fluorine, methoxy, amino, carboxyl, SO3H, etc. For example, compound F. Substituent present at metaposition also affect the rate of resumization. Substituents at metaposition tend to enhance resumization barrier by preventing the outward movement of ortho group which would otherwise occur in the transition state for resumization. This is called buttressing effect. For example, the rate of resumization of compound G is much slower than that of H. The reason is that in G, methoxy tend to orient like this to avoid repulsive interaction with metanitro, while in H, due to absence of meta substituent, the methoxy group tend to orient like this. Due to this, the rotational barrier in G is enhanced, causing lower rate of resumization. Similarly, resumization in tetraidobiphenyl analog I is considerably more difficult than its diido analog J because of buttressing effect caused by meta iodo group in I. Para substituents influence the rotational energy barrier mainly by electronic effects which are less pronounced than steric interactions and alter the rotational energy barrier of two two prime di substituted biphenyls by up to only 10%. Electron donating group at para position enhances resumization. Electron donation by resonance from the substituent at para position increases the electron density or sp3 character at pivotal carbon that is C1 and C prime, thus facilitating the outer plane bending at these positions. This decreases the strength 
in the transition state and therefore lowers the barrier to rotation and thus enhances the racemization. In contrast, electron withdrawing group at para position reduces racemization. Electron withdrawing group at para position decreases the electron density at the pivotal carbon and restrict out of plane bending. The presence of these groups therefore increases the barrier to rotation and thus decreases the rate of racemization. Kinetic studies of a range of 2 2 prime bis trifluoromethyl biphenyls conducted by Ulf et al. established the following order of destabilizing para substituents. Interestingly, incorporation of 1 methoxy and 1 nitro group into para position significantly accelerates racemization. The low conformational stability of 4 methoxy, 4 prime nitro, 2, 2 prime bis trifluoromethyl biphenyl has been effectively explained by push and pull conjugation, which stabilizes the transition state and therefore increase the rate of racemization. For better understanding, let's have the table showing effect of para substituents on the racemization barrier that is delta G of different para substituted 2 2 prime base trifluoromethyl biphenyls. Compound A with no para substituents has delta G 107 kilojoule per mole. Compound B to E with electron donating groups at para position have lower value of delta G than compound A, which is consistent with the first point. Compound F and G with electron with, with electron withdrawing groups at para position have higher delta value than compound A which is consistent with the second point. Compound H with one electron donating and one electron withdrawing group at para position has lower delta G than A. This is consistent with the third point. The order of destabilizing para substituents established for 2 2 prime bis trifluoromethyl biphenyls is in agreement with similar trends observed in a wide range of biphenyls. However, electronic contributions can be more complex in biarils that undergo CH pi interactions and opposite electronic effects on the conformational stability have been observed with para substituted 2 2 prime diisopropyl biphenyls. In this case, electron donors such as amino groups increase a racemization barrier, while introduction of electron withdrawing group decreases racemization barrier. This is evident from this table where we can see that compound J with electron donating amino group at para position has higher racemization barrier while compound K with electron withdrawing para nitro group has lower racemization barrier compared to the unsubstituted compound I. This can be explained in terms of CH pi interaction the magnitude of which increases with the increasing electron density. Examples of atropisomers 
other than biphenyls. Biphenyls are not the only molecules showing atropismerism. There are different class of molecules other than biphenyls. These are terphenyls which show geometrical as well as optical isomerism. Binaphthyls and N prime bipyrroles, N phenylpyrroles, N aryl indoles, N aryl lactams, N aryl imide, N aryl azolidine 4 ohms, N aryl pyridones, N aryl pyrimidones. Biquinazoline 4 ohms, styrenes, amides, amines, biaryl ethers, sulfides, sulfoxides, sulfones, phosphine oxides, anilides, carbamates, oxoamides, acyclic amides, ureas, benzodiazepinones, etc.